What is up? Welcome back, boys and girls. My name is Noah Hills. You can find me on Twitter at Noah More Parties. We're back. Week 13, Thursday Night Football, prize picks, 5x5 five five flex play. Doing it again. Uh, Thanksgiving, we went uh, two, for th- or 2 and 3 or... Seven and three, depending on how you want to uh, count that. I think we're now sitting at 65%, maybe like 65.6% hit rate for the season. Not bad. Uh, we got the Bills. We got the Patriots. They both played on Thanksgiving. So we're uh, just kind of running it back here. Let's do it. <laughs> Uh, the first line I like of this 5x5 five five is Mac Jones, 220.5 passing yards. I like the over. Uh, I believe this is the same line he had last week. Took the over last week. He hit it. He's averaging 250.7 passing yards per game this season, so more than 30 more than where this line is at. And he's hit this line in four out of seven games that he's played, and in both of his last two. And quarterbacks are averaging uh, 239 passing yards per game against the Bills, including 240 passing yards from Jared Goff, 324 from Jacoby Brissett, 327 from Kenny Pickett, and 240 from the, uh, you know, broken Matthew Stafford back in week one. So they're a decent defense, but quarterbacks are passing on them largely because quarterbacks have to throw against the Bills, and I think Mac Jones will need to throw this week, and so I like him to go over 220.5 passing yards. The next line I like is Josh Allen, 44 and a half rushing yards. Also took the over on his rushing yards last week. He hit it. He's averaging 51 rushing yards per game this season and 60.8 rushing yards per game since the bye week in, I believe, week seven. In that time span, he has three games with at least 78 rushing yards and has hit this line in seven out of 11 games overall. And the Patriots defense gives up the sixth most rushing yards per game to quarterbacks. I think that's mostly a function of who they who they play. Um, I don't know that that's some sort of like defensive focus or, you know, inherent weakness. But Josh Allen's a running quarterback and they've given up yards to running quarterbacks. He's averaging more than this. He's averaging more than this since the bye week, especially. I think he can go for at least 45 rushing yards against the Pats. The next line I like is Ramondre Stevenson, 31.5 receiving yards. I like the over. He's averaging 32.6 receiving yards per game this season, so just barely over this line. But in his last five games, since kind of since da- uh, Damian Harris started getting hurt and like not playing as much, since then, Ramondre Stevenson is averaging 54.6 receiving yards per game in the last five and has gone under this line in just one of those five games. And he has at least 56 receiving yards in each of the other four games in that five game span. So in the last five games, he's been ridiculously productive as a receiver. He has 39 targets in that span of five games. That's the most on the entire team by nine targets. Uh, I think he has nine more than Jacoby Myers as the next highest guy. And he's behind only Austin Eckler in that time span with the second most targets per game of any running back in the league. So Ramondre Stevenson has been super productive as a receiver, especially lately in the last month or so. Uh, 31.5 receiving yards really is not an incredibly high line given what his production has been like in the last few weeks. So I like that over. And then uh, the fourth line I like is Jacoby Myers, 51.5 receiving yards. I like the over. Took the over on him last week. He hit it. He's averaging 63.4 receiving yards per game this season. He's hit this line in seven out of nine games. Very consistent. And the Bills are bottom 10 in yard or top 10, whichever end of that is them giving up the most. Bottom 10 in yards given up to wide receivers. Jacoby Myers is just the number one like downfield passing threat for the Patriots. He's been the most productive Patriots receiver. He's been productive and consistent all season and the Bills get thrown against. And so I like Jacoby Myers to go for at least 52 receiving yards against the Bills. And that right there, those four, Mac Jones passing yards, Josh Allen rushing yards, Ramondre Stevenson receiving yards, Jacoby Myers receiving yards. Those are really the four lines in this game that I like, but because I've created this contrived situation where I must do five here, uh, going for the five by five, The fifth line I like is just because Stephon Diggs is the best player on the field and I like him to be productive in basically any game he's playing. And so I like the Stephon Diggs, 84.5 receiving yards. I like the over. He's averaging 100.9 per game this season and he's hit this line in seven out of 11 games. The Patriots are very middle of the road against wide receivers. uh, So it's not like this is some sort of like huge smash spot, but there just like aren't a whole lot of other lines in this game that I like. And so the move is to bank on the best player on the field being productive. That's Stephon Diggs. He could go off in any game. 
84.5 receiving yards would be, you know, 15 fewer than he's been averaging this season. So he could have a below average game, still go over this line. I like Stephon Diggs, uh, 85 plus receiving yards. And I only have one honorable mention, James Cook, 15.5 rushing yards. I like the over. He's averaging 23 and a half rushing yards per game this season, but 32.4 per game since the bye week. He's a rookie. He's been coming on more a little bit lately. He hit this line in three of five games since the bye. And in one of the games in which he didn't hit it, he had 15 yards. So he missed it by one yard. So um, he's still only playing between like 15, 25% of the snaps each week, which makes him a little bit risky. He's just like not on the field a ton, but he doesn't need many carries to hit this over. He's averaging 5.6 yards per carry. So based on his seasonal averages, like three carries will do it. Um, And he's been running into very light fronts. He's averaging only 6.3 defenders in the box on his carries, which according to playerprofiler.com is the number 55 rate in the league. So he's facing the 55, 55th heaviest uh, average defensive fronts in the entire league. That's that's not very many. And he's running into light fronts. So six or fewer defenders on 60, almost 60% of his carries. I believe it's like 56 and a half percent of his attempts are against light fronts. So James Cook comes in on a, on a few third downs, uh, bus one for nine yards, a couple more for three here and there. And, and he, he can get this. He's not playing that many snaps, but he's an explosive player getting the ball in, you know, fairly, uh, you know, light defensive situations. So I like that as an honorable mention. So that's what we got. Mac Jones, Josh Allen, Ramondre Stevenson, Jacoby Myers, Stephon Diggs, and then James Cook, I guess. Uh, Yeah, I don't know. That's all I got. Thanks for watching. Peace.